Today, we're taking it back to the basics. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and a lot of people have also asked me. I have severely hooded eyes. I mean, not the worst. I don't have like the big fatty deposit coming over, but I do have very hooded eyes, one being more hooded than the other. So today we're going to do an eyeshadow tutorial on how I do my makeup or my eye makeup, shall I say. But we're gonna do two looks. We're gonna start off with just a usual winged out gradient eyeshadow. And then lastly, we'll do a halo eye which I feel looks gorgeous on hooded eyes, obviously because you get to see all the colors on the eye. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. Some of you might not know this, but I have done a few courses in makeup and I'm looking to go freelance in the next few months. These are all like tips I've tried on myself and then a few other people and I've noticed that it really does work. Hopefully you're interested in this. If you are, please remember to like, subscribe and leave me a comment because it just helps with the algorithm and we're slowly growing. So I hope we can grow more by the end of the year. I'll be really, really, really grateful if you just push that little thumbs up. I have two palettes here because I wanted to demonstrate with whatever you might have. So the first palette we're going to be using is the Catrice 5 in a box and I have mine in 10 golden nude look. This is a very neutral palette, looks like that really good for every day but you can dress it up and make it look more sultry so I think we will be doing that today but I'm very very excited to show you what I like to do so let's go ahead and zoom in does it bother anybody that this rainbow is no longer on I just don't have all the socket space right now so it's either three lights or that over there. I prefer to use three lights because when I zoom in, it kind of just eliminates the light. Firstly, we're going to prime the lids. As you all know, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know it's very important to, especially with hooded eyes, to prime your lids because it can crease really easily. You can either use your concealer or you could use a eyeshadow primer. This is the one, let's see if it will focus. This is the one we will be using today. It's just a really affordable one. It's basically like concealer, but I just want to finish it, so I'll be using it today. You can get eyeshadow primers from most brands. I don't think Essence or Catrice make one. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. This one is literally almost finished, so I'm just scraping out the last dregs, but it is basically a concealer. It also just cancels out the color of your eyelids, especially if you have dark, veiny eyelids. And I'm just going to tap that in with my finger, and I take it all the way to the brow. It does also help, like I said, with creasing and also longevity. Now we have a blank canvas. There's no darkness, there's no discoloration, and it's all one color, which also helps the eyeshadow stand out a bit more. For this first look, I am going to use some eye tapes or eyeshadow shields. You can use tape if you want, or you can just skip this step completely. You can do your eyeshadow, then clean it up in a shape afterwards. I like to do a winged out look because I feel like it suits my eye shape. I do this before I stick it down just so it's not so sticky and and damages my eyes because the skin under your eyelids are very very sensitive I'm just putting mine in an upward direction like that as you can see I have two different eye shapes you can even see how much more hooded this eye is especially when I'm looking straight on so because I have two different eye shapes they're not gonna look completely even but once my makeup is all done and my hair is styled it will look but you just work with what you got <laughs> I try to get them generally even but you'll see that they end up quite different because of my eye shape when looking down like that, you can see that I have creases already on my lid. So I'm going to tap that out. And then taking the Catrice little shadow palette, I'm going to dip into this cream shade. And I'm going to use a very fluffy brush. So we're basically going to use that to kind of set the eyeshadow primer, especially if you're new to makeup, it's better to do this because then it helps you to blend out the other shadows because it can stick and take a little bit of time. It can be frustrating, but it's taken me a while to realize that I prefer working on a sticky or wet base because the color payoff is better, but I'm going to put this especially in the areas where I crease, also on the outer corner up towards the brow. And I'm just doing back and forth motions and then circling, especially where the creases are, I like to circle because it just gets in those crevices. I do also take it just further than the brow, but usually I would just do it up to the brow, but I have pretty short brows, so. Next, I'm going to take another blending brush. They look quite similar, but the hair length is different. 
but it, it does the same thing. But I want something slightly fluffier and less dense so I get a nice even wash of color. Also with holding your brush, you wanna hold it further back because the closer you hold it like this, the less control you have of the brush firstly, and it applies way too much pigment at one time and you'll end up pushing really hard. So the further you hold your brush back, the easier it is to kind of just wiggle it through and not be too harsh. I'm gonna start with this brown it's like a medium brown tone coat my brush tap off the excess and this I'm going to place in the crease so usually you would have I think you can see it more on this eye there's a socket bone over here and that would be your crease but because I don't have basically a socket bone over there this is my crease meant to be so I add the color all through there under my crease because if I go above my crease it will take the makeup all the way to my brow and unfortunately on me that looks very like drag queen-esque this over here I'll put it here and work it down if you're new you can also just take a brush and you can push it into that and then start wiggling it about and it will take you to your actual crease I've been doing this for a while so I know my crease so I'm just going to apply this through my crease and again i'm just using windshield wipers i know some people do circles but for me and my eye shape this works better and also not to get too much color in there this color is almost close to my skin tone so it is a nice transition color which just means that the deepest color will blend out seamlessly into that color so i'm taking it all the way to the outer corner over here if you look closely i'm taking it slightly further than my brow but not all the way to here then once you have with the color payoff and where you want it you can go ahead and use that first brush and you can just clean up around the edges and further blend that so I just wiggle it around just to soften up those edges keep all my brushes in front of me as well just in case I need it I used to always just put my brush back and then I'd have to look through my whole brush basket in order to find them because I tend to use the same brushes a couple of times before I wash them next we're gonna bring in the drama. I like to call it that because it makes the eye look look a little bit sultry and smoky and I prefer to do this. You can do this with any color combination. If you have like a pink ombre or purple ombre, you can follow the exact same steps and create a similar effect with different colors. So we're gonna take this dark brown. For this, I'm going to use, this is a fluffy brush on first glance, but if you turn it, to its side it's more pinched to a normal brush you can see it's slightly more like oval shape and for me that helps with the outer corner because if you use this side of the brush it packs it on if you use that it blends it out picking my color up on the side of the brush so there's the top there's the side and I'm just going to tap that on the outer corner this brush kind of just blends things out for you and that's why I love it so much and I'm going to take this to just the outside of my iris over there. And then I like to blend it into the previous brown with the tip of the brush. Then taking the brush that we used the lighter brown with without adding any product, I'm just going to blend on the edges of this just to again soften those edges and blend it into that first shade. Taking that first brush, again, no product, and I'm just going around the edges and I just use this basically as a an eraser and it kind of just cleans up that area. The next thing we do is shimmer so I'm gonna go in with this bronzy gold over here and I'm just going to use my finger some shadows just work better when you use your finger so I pick that up like that look how nice that is and I'm gonna dart this from the middle of the eye and I work it up to just under my crease and I take it almost to the inner corner but leave a tiny little gap right there and as you can see I take it up to the crease so when I open my eye you can still see that there's a shimmer there it might look a bit like choppy and uneven but again you're gonna take that light brown brush we used and you're just gonna go over the edges of that just to kind of get the shape that you want the shimmers in then taking the brush that we used for the dark brown we're just going to blend the two edges together taking a flat shader brush or if you have a like sponge applicator you can use that as well but this is just for my inner corner because then I have a lot more control of the product rather than shoving it in my eye so lastly taking this shade here and then here's my tip I'm going to spray it with some setting spray 
Firstly, it helps intensify the color and secondly, it also just helps adhere to the eye so that it doesn't fall or move around. I'm gonna pop that on my tear duct, but I also take it up and I join it into that gold. And looking forward, you can still see all the colors, all the shimmers, that's usually what I do. So I'm going to just take off these and this is what we have so i don't have to go clean it up too much it's a little bit uneven so i probably would but i'm just going to take that same brush with a dark brown dip in it very lightly like literally two tap and then i'm going to pinch my brush like that and i'm just going to add a little bit to my outer corner and taking the light brown on a i'm actually just going to use the same brush i use because it is a tapered brush and i'm just going to blend that into the inner corner. You can't really see the color, but it just helps to blend everything out. I would go ahead and personally add a little bit of liquid liner. I line the top lid, but only to the outer corner. I don't flick it out. I use the NYX Epic ink liner which is my favorite but you can use any liquid liner you have and i literally just stamp it along my lash line in a thin line like that but can you see the intensity from this eye to this eye it kind of just i don't know it adds something and especially with my mascara it just adds like some volume at the base of my lashes let's just add some mascara i'm just using this Relove by revolution high rise lifting mascara i really don't like it but it's easy to wash off so we can do the next look and i'm just going to wiggle that through my lashes and that's it very, very easy and simple. I know I explained that really long, but I'm gonna try and shorten it. It accentuates my eyes, pulling it out that way, giving it a more cat-like look, and it hasn't closed off my eye at all. I'm gonna go ahead and wash all of this off, and then we'll move on to the final look, and I will then complete my makeup and show you what it all looks like together. For our second palette, I'm going to be using this one from Primark. It's just PS Nine Shade Eyeshadow Palette in the colorway doll face it's more of like a smoky palette we won't be using obviously all the colors i'm mostly going to be using the browns and then possibly the blues because i thought that might match my top but let's see how it goes again starting off with primer i actually had to pull the stopper out just because i couldn't get more product out so i think this is going to be an empty very soon also don't don't put too much primer on your eye because it can also lift up off itself or crack and you don't want that this one is slightly more simple but also slightly more complicated i know people do this in different many different ways but this is the way i do it and that works for my eye shape so starting again with a really fluffy brush we're going to go in with this medium brown and again we're going to pop that in the crease and now because I haven't set down there is a shade in here that you could set down with but because I haven't set down you'll be able to see that I can't really do the windshield wipers so I just tap it on and once the color's there then you can start blending out and when most of the colors dispersed I will work that up to the brow just to make that tackiness disappear. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I don't think I was zoomed in enough on the previous clip. I'm so sorry. And with this, I haven't used anything on the outer corner. I've just used it through the crease. Next, again, one of my favorite shape of brushes. It's the fluffy but dome shape. Again, this we will go straight in with this dark brown. Again, I pick it up on the side of the brush, as you can see, and this I'm just going to tap on the outer corner and I'm just taking it to the end of my eye. Don't wanna take it too high because they'll still blend and then do the same in the inner corner. I know a lot of people say that people with hooded eyes shouldn't use dark colors, but I found that this, it doesn't close off your eye at all. Well, this technique doesn't close off your eye at all. I don't take it too far into my inner corner, just about there. And I work it slightly up because obviously we have the skin fold there and I just take it up like that. Again, taking that first brush, we're going to just blend out. This I use circular motions with and I'm just going to blend those two shades into each other and then also just here on the outer corner just to give some shape. Next for shimmer, we're gonna grab this really dark, almost blue black and I'm going to use a flat shader brush again. Once again, we're going to spray it with some setting spray. What you're gonna do with this is you're gonna place it on the outside like that, just on the edge of where that brown is, kind of like this and blend it outwards. 
And again, take it all the way to the crease so that when we open our eyes, we can still see the shade in there. It looks really crazy and a bit messy, but I'm going to take the brush again that I used that dark brown with, and we're just going to blend that all together. It's a very dark, grungy look. And then using our finger again, I'm going to take the lightest blue in this and that I'm going to place right in the middle where that gap is, but overlapping onto the darker blues. Then taking that first brush we use, I'm just going to sweep around the outskirts of everything. Lastly, I take my pinky and I'm going to go into this white and that I'm going to put right in the center of everything. Just tapping lightly and that gives you that spotlight effect. And then just clean everything up and blend as much as you can. Never tried this color combination, so I don't think it looks the best I've ever done, but it definitely can look very nice, especially for like a dark smoky look. And that's what we have. Doesn't close my eyes off at all. I'm not gonna do anything under my eyes just yet because I'm gonna jump off camera and finish my face. Then we can add the mascara and liner together and I'll show you what everything looks like. So I just finished the rest of my face and lastly, we just need to do some liner and then again, mascara. I'm going to line the top lash line again the same way we did before and again it just adds something extra to the look i'm gonna use some mascara primer while we wait that for that to dry i'm just going to take the brush that we use the brown on and i'm going to use the excess just on the outer corner of the eyes and then mascara the lower lashes and that's the eyes complete. I'm gonna give the mascara a sec to dry down, then I'll let down my hair and we'll show you the finished look. So this is our finished look. Personally, you could think differently, but I don't think it closes my eye off at all. It just adds some extra drama. A lot of people have asked me how I do my eye looks and that is it. Again, like I said, I do have hooded eyes. As you can see, this one closes up almost fully, but you can still see all the colors that I placed on my eye. And I still have some space between my shadow and my brow, which is, for me is quite important. This is it. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know down in the comments if you like this video. Also, if there's anything else that you would love to see, and I will definitely go ahead and do that. But for now, I'll see you all next week. Bye guys.